Hello, this is Nick from RelatedFamilies.com. Today I want to show you how to upload a GEDCOM file into PHP GEDView. So the first step is to get a GEDCOM file. Now you likely already have some genealogy software that you're using, maybe Path or Family Tree Maker. If you're not sure how to get your GEDCOM file out of your existing genealogy program, We've created a page that has instructions for most genealogy applications. That is at relatedfamilies.com slash export dash GEDCOM. So if you go there, you can see a list of most of the popular genealogy applications. Find the one that you're using, click on it, and there are the instructions. For most applications, it's pretty straightforward. And what that'll do is it'll give you a .ged file that you can save onto your hard drive somewhere. You can take that GEDCOM file and then upload it into PHP GEDView to get started with your family tree. Once you have a GEDCOM file to work with, you're ready to upload it into PHP GEDView. So the next step is to go to your website. I have one called woodfamily.relatedfamilies.com. Now when you first go there, it's going to ask you to log in as the admin user. You should have received an email with what that login information is. So I'll just log in here really quick. Once you're logged in, you're presented with a few different options to get a GEDCOM file on your new PHP GEDView site. The first option is add a GEDCOM. That's if you already have a GEDCOM file on your website, but it's not plugged into PHP GEDView. Most people don't use that. Second option is to upload a GEDCOM. That's the one that we want. If you don't have a GEDCOM file, you can do create a new GEDCOM file and PHP GEDView will create one for you and then you would just be starting your family tree from scratch. So this uh, tutorial is assuming that you already have a GEDCOM file. We're going to click on upload GEDCOM. Now you're presented with a bunch of different options as you can see here. Don't worry about most of them. The defaults are just fine. What you want to do is click on choose file Find your GEDCOM file. For this one, I'm using a sample Harry Potter GEDCOM. And that's it. Then you just click on Save Configuration. On the next screen, you can accept the default. Click on Continue. And again, one more time, click on Continue. And that's it. Now your GEDCOM file has been uploaded into PHP GEDView. Next, click on your Welcome page. And you can see all of the information that was in your GEDCOM file. The next step is just to surf around your new website and familiarize yourself with the different things that it can do. Take a look at the charts, the reports, the lists. We're not going to go into details about those features, but you can surf around and just see how PHP GEDView can present your information. You'll notice that in PHP GEDView almost everything is clickable. So if you want to change an individual's record or see more detail on the person, just click on it and there you can see more detail. You can add notes, sources, you can upload media. If you want to just edit the individual's record, click on edit, and you can see here that there are different things you can change about this individual. Remember also that with PHP GEDView, you can collaborate with others. So if you have other family members that want to participate in your genealogy work, you can create user accounts for them. To do that, just go up to the MyGEDView portal, down to User Administration. When you create user accounts, you can assign permissions to these new users so that they have access to make certain changes, but they don't have access to make other changes. You'll also be notified when someone requests a change, and you'll be able to approve or deny that change. So it still keeps you in control of the website. So take a look around. We'll create some more tutorials here in a little while and you'll be able to learn about some of the other advanced features of PHP GEDView but this should be enough to get you started if you have any questions please don't hesitate to send an email to support at relatedfamilies.com we'll be happy to help you out so thanks for stopping by today and we will see you next time